Hello there, my name's Tracy Elsom and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada and welcome to my Paper Craft With Me YouTube channel. Today I want to very quickly give you a solution for using the main die from the little treat box dies. This is what it looks like and it creates these gorgeous little treat boxes and they fit a couple of Hershey's Kisses or Girardelli Squares, um, York Peppermint Patties. It's quite a nice little size and it can actually be opened. Put this one with a little glue dot but you can actually put it together without the use of any adhesives. These little tabs just go into the slots that are created by the die on either side. This particular one I decorated with stamps from the coordinating stamp set which is called Little Treats. That's what it looks like so I use this image there to decorate that and I also use the Especially For You sentiment and that little stitched scallop circle die is one of the other dies in the set and there's quite a few different dies in that set. This other box I have tied up with ribbon and again I use that stitch circle with a sentiment from that same stamp set and also if you can see that this is a gold foil spider um, and that comes from that same set. But with both of these boxes the way I've created it it really doesn't matter whether you look at it that way or whether you look at it that way the pattern's the same and the same here with the designer series paper I particularly want liked this uh, marble brick effect marble tile and it doesn't matter which way up you look at it it's the same but what happens if you have a paper with a definite direction for instance this one this is ornaments and you can see the little hangers for the ornaments go in that direction. So if I was to cut this out normally it wouldn't look right when I put it together and let me explain what I mean. So I have a piece of paper here that I've already cut out but supposing this is this paper and we have everything going in that direction okay so the pattern runs in that direction when you use the die to cut it out you end up with a piece like this but then when you put it together and this is how you do it you fold up those pieces you fold those pieces it's very difficult with ordinary copy paper because it does its own thing so so there we go so when you put that together <clears throat> as I did the other one with the little flaps that's fine the decoration still go in the right direction but on the reverse they're facing downwards and that just doesn't make sense so I wanted to show you really quickly how I would get around that using that same paper so what I did was I cut two strips of paper that were four inches by five and a half inches and then I placed my die on top of the strip of paper so if you can imagine this is the strip of paper which it was um, and then I placed my die on it like that that fits onto a four inch strip but I've got the main part and I've got this centre section here. So I cut one out like that with the, the ornaments going in the right direction. And then I cut a second one exactly the same. So I have two half pieces or slightly over half pieces and both of them, the ornaments go in the right direction. So now obviously I have to put this together. So what I can do, and I'm just going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue for this. Let's fold it over first along the scored lines just so that we can see where they are. Like that. Fold that piece up. Fold those pieces in. 
So now you can see you've effectively got two bottom parts. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just put glue all the way along that bottom section. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to stick it over the top. So what you can see now is those decorations go that way, those decorations go that way. And then when you close it up, put, this, put it inside the little slit. In you go. Doesn't want to go in. There it is. Ha! Okay, it's fighting me. Put that one in as well. And when you close the box up, your decorations are in the right direction. Now, obviously on the sides, there's not an awful lot we can do about the sides, but to be honest, I don't think that's such a huge issue. People won't tend to notice that, but they may notice that big section. So once you've got that done, you can either, as I say, it does go together with the, without adhesive, like that. Um, but you can use adhesive if you want to. I like to make them ahead of time, so I would leave them without the adhesive. And then when I'm ready to put it together, I can just grab some ribbon. There we go. I'll just grab a piece of ribbon. And put my treat in there. And thread my ribbon through. Tighten a bow, which is not going to go right. I just know it. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. So there's my bow. And then a little sentiment that I've stamped using that coordinating stamp set and die cut with another die from that set and I can just attach that under there and once I've sorted that bow out <laughs> my little treat will be finished so there you go that's the way I would get my decorations in a direction that makes sense and if you want to see the other treat boxes that I made, I'll put a link in the description below to my blog post and you'll be able to see those as well. So I hope that's been useful. I hope it makes it easier for you to put the box together using papers and patterns that you actually want to use rather than those that you feel you have to in order to accommodate the directionality of the paper. So thank you very much again for watching. If you'd like more tips and tricks and inspiration, do visit my website at www.papercraftwithme.com. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Click the link below and make sure you ring that bell and that will make sure that you get an email every time a new video is published. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll join me again soon. Bye.